It's a quick one. It's like this. <gasps> no, what you do is this. You do, you do not let the air go past here. I'm talking about diaphragm lowering and the, you know, your back expanding and your chest expanding. So it's, <gasps> but really fast. So <gasps> really fast. All right, let's go with 10 bobs and then we're going uh, kicking and then bowl. So now you're just doing um, kick of uh, the flutter kick there, and then uh, flutter kick on the way back. Okay. Ball's going with us. Huh? Ball's going with us today. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's do it. It needs to do some traveling. Let's do it. Twenty breaths. Nice and easy. You're making it easy, right? Finding the ease. Good. Thanks for reminding me. Mm -hmm. No, a little faster rhythmic breathing, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, keep going, keep 20? going, 11, yes, we're going for 20. 12, sh back, shoulder blades, shoulder blades when you're breathing in too. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, that's good, that's good. Mm hmm very good. Ready, so we're going back the same way. If you want to do five bobs, you can do them, or let's just go. Nice and easy. What are we doing? Same thing on the way back. Butter. Yes. So, very, uh, listen, um, Akram, if it's getting difficult, find your ease so this is where you can break it or find it right so let's try to find that ease make it easy for you Three, very nice. Four, very good, very good. Nice and easy. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I'm like, my butt is on, on the rocks right now. <laughs> it's like, oh, it feels weird. Well, you did 20, so that's awesome. Let's go back to our spot, and we are getting reacquainted with our bowl again. So today it should be nice and easy, right? So we're doing 10, and then 10 holding. Try to breathe out into the water. Yeah. A lot of rocks, I'm gonna find it. Yes, of course. Let's do it. So remember, we're not going up, we're actually going over. No, still going up, see that? Reach with your mouth for the water. I want you to actually exhale into the water. Or well, for your nose into the water. That's it, that's better, that's it. Two, beautiful. Three, yes. Four. Your arms, mm -hmm. five. Make sure you're working less with your arms, more with your back. It's holding it. Yeah, but more use your, see, instead of doing this, doing this more. See, yes, that. Seven. So to get your upper back involved. Eight. So basically try to hug it much more, right? Like from the top. Yes, that's it. And now press it toward you with your back. Yes, that's different, yep. Nine and 10 good now jump on top of it and hold one uh, hold on top of it right one one It's a fun exercise. Are you having fun yet? <laughs> Finding it. Finding the fun. Yes. <laughs> Two. Okay. Get your arms more into it, right? And then press it back. So really extend your arms more. Yes, good. And then press it back using your upper back. One, two. Mm -hmm. So you gotta really activate those muscles, get those muscles working. So this is your whole core. One, two. Mm -hmm. Two, three, okay. Okay, last time and we'll swim again. So 10 counts. One, two, three, uh-huh. Okay, you got your obliques going, everything, right? So your whole core has to work. Let's go swimming again, 20 counts. Um, I'll got the ball for now.
it's going out, right? Huh? Huh? Right it? here for now, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you could put it here, it would be awesome. Thank you, I appreciate it. So 20 counts, nice and easy. Okay, so just one second. Try to keep your feet closer together, right? Knees closer together as you do the kick. Okay. Let's do it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, <coughs> eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Relax your back into the water. Eighteen, nineteen. 1A. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do it again. Back? Mm -hmm. You gotta get that ball going again. <clears throat> One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax you back into the water. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen. I mean, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. <laughs> okay, let's go to that spot where there, there are no rocks. Okay, so now we need to jump on the ball from a little bit deeper point. Oh. So you were here before, right? So I'll take the kickboard. Thank you. Take your friend <laughs> and go chest deep, please. Chest deep. Okay, let's do it. Oh yeah, a little bit deeper, uh-huh. Good, yeah, let's do it. One, beautiful. That was awesome. Remember to breathe out through your nose when you go in the water. <coughs> So in the perfect world, I would actually have you, if we had more time, I would have you swim on top of the bowl. Yeah, right? So that's something that, that's where your core works really hard. Two. Yes. Much more control. Very good. So now let's try to do it rhythmically eight more times. Non stop. Three. 
four. Yes, good. Five. Six. Mm-hmm. Seven. Mm -hmm. Go a little bit deeper. A little deeper. Mm-hmm. Good. Just like that. Eight. Yes. Nine. And a little deeper. A little deeper. Good. And... Ten. Very good. So jump on top and try to hold on top of it. Your goal is ten counts. So you're trying to reach the water with your nose. One. By the way, um, when you're deeper, you rely much less on your arms, but more on your upper body. It's like not your upper body, I mean your core. So this is a better exercise for you when you're deeper in the water. One, two, good. You can help yourself balance with your legs. When you get on top of it, it's fine to start kicking. Mm -hmm. So, let me show you what I mean by that. So if you could hold it, all of that and this, and you could, if you could point it at me. Okay. Of course, you have to do it being warmed up. <laughs> okay. All right. So you see, it's possible to do it, right? And it's possible to do a whole length of a pool. Okay. Right. So now you see that it's possible, <laughs> now you can repeat it. Sometimes your brain just has to wrap around it and see. Nice. Very good. Now let's do it last time. That was three counts. That was awesome. One, two. Okay, so that's enough. <coughs> Let's get it on the beach. Let's get it on the beach. Well, do we, you oh. won't like this song? Oh my gosh, no. I like the rocks. Yeah. Please don't hurt yourself. Huh? Please don't hurt yourself. <laughs> wow. Very impressive. Are you worried, worried it will go on the road? <laughs> no, it's sand. It stops. <laughs> the sand stops it from rolling. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Let's do it. So right now, I want you to go ahead and kick on the side. Just in that side position. So try to, yes, and we're just going. I mean, right now we, we have 15 minutes to go. 
Okay. I love the timing right here on the camera. It's awesome. Head down. Head down. Chin in, right? Huh? Don't forget that you need to tuck your chin in. <clears throat> That's it. You got it. And head down a little bit more. Thank you, you too. Thanks. Just stay here, stay here. Yeah, eight months. Uh -huh. Okay, so well, you start somewhat lying almost completely on the side with your head on the side, but then you... Go on my back? Uh, on your... On back side of my head? No, I mean, you're a little bit more back, but still, you're still lying down, but somewhat, not even completely. I, I can fix, uh, you, can, you can fix it, I'm just coming to you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's it. So you see, when you do that, your whole body comes up. So do it again, bring it down more this way. You know what I'm talking about? Like in the beginning, when you lie down, and then you did that, your whole body came up, mm -hmm. right? So let's try to do that, and you gotta keep it, keep that. Fix your head a little bit more down. This part more down. This part more down. Like, am I looking upwards? No. Here. See the difference? Right? So you don't have to put your nose in. Okay, so this is it. You are doing it somewhat this way. Uh -huh. I want you to do it more of this. Okay. Right? And that brings your whole body up okay so actually um actually press with your head down okay Remember that with this part press down with that <coughs> better press with your head again <coughs> yes you got it shoulder back shoulder back that's it. Press with your head down again. That's it. Mm -hmm. Press with your head down again. Press with your head down more, more. Yes. So stop right there. Stop right there. So I want you to, when you press with your head down, I want you to remember how it feels because you want to keep that feeling, right? Because right. you press it and then you go back up. Press it and then you get, go back up. Is the water supposed to get in my mouth or no? It can be, it's fine. And am Not I still in your nose up? though. Huh? Am I still looking up? Well, if you turn to the side, you know, you, you, you are, I mean, it's fine if you're looking up. It just means that you're a little bit overturned, for you, which is fine for you right now. Right, okay. Press your head down more. Press your head down. Mm-hmm. Shoulder back. Shoulder, head down, head down, head down. Your chin is too low. Your chin is in the water. It should not be in the water. See, if you, ch yes. Press down with this part more. Put this in the water and chin out of the water more. Yes better chin out of the water get it out okay so so let's put it this way so yes so if you water if you, if you get your water in the mouth the water into the mouth it means that your chin is in the water right no not that we want to keep this but this way right. so you want to keep chin in but with this part of your head down Okay. <clears throat> yes, better, better. But tuck your chin in now. That's it. Yes, that's it. Try to remember that feeling. That's it. Better. 
fix it again. That's it. You got it. Shoulder back, shoulder back. And now find ease with your legs. Work more from your hips, not from your knees. Fix your head again. Fix, that's it, that's it, you got it. Mm -hmm. So that's it, that's good. Let's do the other side. We'll get on this side of you. And we, and we keep going that way for now. Okay. Yeah. We got six more minutes to go. You can just keep going, that's fine. For two hours? I mean, it's one more hour after this, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, well, we, we got 39 minutes. Just, I'm saying in five minutes we'll have to go back. I mean, uh, yeah, in five minutes we'll have to go back. Okay. So I'm thinking that it's good to do two hours today. Okay. Because we're not doing anything extra. Yeah, we can take a break in between. In the water, like, we'll, we'll just, if I'm too tired. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, your break would be 10 bucks. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> no, uh, we're, we're still taking it easy right now, yeah. so it's not even that hard. Very good. Tuck your chin in just a little bit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fix your head a little bit. So you get t top of your head down a little bit more. Mm hmm. Shoulder back, elbow straight. Yes. Head down, head down, head down. Fix your head a little bit more. That's it. Uh huh. Good. Try to breathe out through your nose, right? All right. How do you feel? Good. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the arm. Do what? The arm. Oh yeah. Okay. So we're facing this way right now, right? So that's your good arm. Yeah, that's right. Mm hmm. Good. good side. Now arm up. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop right there. Remember that if you see the kickboard as you turn your head, it means that your head is too high up. Oh, yeah. You gotta tuck yeah. your chin in and turn it straight down. Right. Is it also true I don't need to get straight? Like, I don't need to get in this position. I always be like this or this. Well, you will be on your stomach because you are turning. That's why when you're bringing your arm over, you're actually on your stomach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah that's the only time, I guess. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Your glide, in, in your freestyle, the glide is on your side. Okay. So that's where you rest. That's why we spend so much time here balancing and learning to balance on the side. Oh, yeah. Good. The only thing is right now we are breathing every single stroke. In actual freestyle, your glide will be a uh, part of the time will be with your face down. So the position will be this. Well, I don't want to put this one in the water, but the position will be this. Right? Yeah. With your head more in the water. Right. Right? So it's like your body is going to be on the side, but your face will be, uh, with your head will be facing down your face. Right, you will be facing down. Head down, head down. That's it. Fix your head, fix your head. Fix your head. That's it, you got it. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so stop right there. <laughs> Why did you look forward? Huh? Why did you look forward? I don't know. Okay. I'll try. No, 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 that's fine. 
It's just that it was awesome until you start looking forward. So you do have to make sure that your chin is tucked in, okay. right? So let's do the other side. Head down, head down, head down. Look down straight, straight down. Ch tuck, tuck your chin in. Because you again looked at the kickboard. Right, I was in, the fr in front and you looked at me or you know, you turned toward me. So make sure you, that you're turning straight down. Tuck your chin in. That's it, you got it. Better. Head down, head down, head down. That's it. Head down, head down, head down. Mm -hmm. What happened? I think it's the rhythm of the breathing. That's what it is. Well, let's also uh, your legs. There's a little bit of water getting in my nose uh, because it's not rhythmic right now, but that's fine. Well, if, the, if the water is getting into your nose, it means that you're not breathing out through your nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, True. it's not even the rhythm. It's, I think... It's just you're going too slowly I mean with the I'm rhythm. I'm not able to finish my breath in rhythm and that's why, like, when I have to come back... Uh-huh. You don't have enough uh, air? Or what is it? When I, like, then I look kind of like up because I want to breathe, like, I want to deep breathe. So, uh, it'll, it'll come. Let me just do it two, three times. Of course, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Just make sure... Okay, so on this side, your head is up. Make okay. sure that you keep that down. All right, okay. Right? And also, Akram. Yeah. Um, you're working from your knees. Yes. Make the kick easier I for you, please. That. Especially on this side. Turn your palm back. No, that was good. Just, okay, so with the ear that's on top, just try to listen to me, right? Do you want me to yell a little bit louder? Or yeah, no? That would okay, be so helpful. I'll do that. Turn your palm back because your palm is facing forward. Okay. So, yeah, I can't hear you. Okay, well. so I'm gonna yell not because I'm yelling at you, because I want you to hear me. Yeah, and it's okay. like in all the videos, like at Steve, I'm yelling so much, and it's like, holy moly, I, I, that sounds so mean. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like. Put a disclaimer like, there. That it's, it's hard to <laughs> yeah, hear. yeah. No, yeah, I'm not yelling. <laughs> That's good. Palm back. Mm -hmm. Good. Head down, head down, head down. Palm back all the way. Head down, head down. Okay. So when you do bring your head in the correct position, remember how I asked you to try to remember how it feels. Now I do want you to turn this on, right? To yeah. really think and remember the feeling. Because that's what you will need to come back to. Because every time it gets uncomfortable or it gets weird or too tiring, you have to remember, okay, head down. Because that's what's going to get your body up. Yeah, I'm trying to rest it on my arm. Mm -hmm. That's what my thing is like. Whenever I put it on my arm, you say it's it's a good position. Yes. So, so try to go back to that every single time, though. Right. Do you want to uh, change sides for like? Mm, let's do one more time on this side. Because uh, I'm having a hard time with the breathing rhythm, but I, I I'll get it. It Maybe definitely it definitely internal. takes time. It definitely takes time. Internal, Just uh, yeah. uh, well, that's why we did bobs all the time. Whenever you the nose get, touches your, your the water, breathes out. That's it. Right. Okay. Good. Um, so try to reach up with your hand 
a little bit more, right? Okay. Because at the end, you kind of start doing this, right, 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 bringing right. it forward just a little bit further okay. over, your, over your head. Okay. All right. Especially on this side. The other side is more or less good. Okay. okay. Akram, Akram. Okay, so head position, everything was good. You just, uh, the rhythm, yes, the, the, the rhythm is wrong because you're turning your head up a little bit too late. Right? So you're turning it out, getting it out of the water when your arm is already here. You should turn it out, uh, 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 turn it up when your arm is still pulling the water. Okay. Right? Just a little bit sooner. Hmm. Okay. This way you'll have much more time to breathe. <clears throat> good position, good position, very nice. Yes, that's it. Too late. Better. Uh-uh, stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 okay? So the idea is not to go wow. or like, uh, the idea is not to go past the points fast. Those points that you have to keep, you have to keep them, right? Like the extending your arm here, you can't just go up right away. Even when you're going fast, you're still extending it. Right. Right, right. so you, you have to learn to actually get them down and like into your muscle memory. Right. <clears throat> okay, so let's do it on this side. I want you to do four and then switch to the other side. Remember, you switch after you put your hands on the kickboard. Yes. It means that there is no reason to look up and breathe. It's the same timing, right? So you're doing this, face down. You're doing the same thing just on the other side. Turn to the side and then face down right away, right? There's no, absolutely no change other than the sides, right? Let's do four and then four. Try to count, actually give me four, not five. Oh. Nice. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, no. If you forgot to switch on the fourth, do the fifth one and then switch. I'm not asking you to just switch your hands, right? So what did you do there? <laughs> no, I thought you just said they go four times this side. And well, yeah, go four times, you're here, and then go to the other side. And you just did this. Stop? <laughs> no, no I'm asking you not to right, stop, but actually here and then switch, right? All right, so it's easier for you to just alternate it. Instead of doing four and four, you alternate it one and one. Four and four, I thought we said two and two. No, I asked you to do four and oh, four, right. but it's okay. Is it easier for you to do one and one, alternating? Yeah, let's try that. Yeah. Okay, remember the points. <clears throat> remember the tucked chin in, right? 
tucked in the chin, uh, whatever, tucked chin. Remember that you should not look forward. Remember the position of your head in every side, right? So it's better to go a little bit slower and go through every single position than going fast and break everything we've worked on. Right. Right? So let's do it. <clears throat> How did it feel? Better. Better. Very I think good. it's easier when you do alternate because then you can get, get used to it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, so, what the points are. Okay. So, the only thing right now we need to work on is the shoulder blade position. You got to get those shoulders back. Right? Shoulder blades together. Yes, if your shoulder is not in the correct in the correct spot, your arm is going forward instead of up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So give me the kickboard. And let's try to do the same thing without it. Okay? So what I want you to do is to actually get into that streamlined stretched out position, right? So it means that this arm is stretching forward. This arm is stretching back. So and I want you to stay on that side. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do it. So remember you have to put your head down because that's what's going to keep your body up. Okay, stop, stop, Akram. Okay, Can not bad. I, that's how I, I asked you to stop before, but uh, not mm -hmm. bad. The only thing that you need to tuck your chin in. Tuck that chin in because your head is not in the correct position. You're tempted to look up. Okay. Right? Tuck your chin in. Okay. Sighting is a different story. Right now, we're not trying to look where we're going. We won't be able to hit anything, right? right, right Unless yeah. I want you to. <laughs> okay, so let's yeah. do it. <clears throat> Uh-huh. Okay. So, the three before you looked up, how did it feel? I think I was uh, looking up and then my head was down. I think I didn't like that feeling. I could feel it. I just need to Did you, it. Did you notice when you were looking more up instead of down? Like, the especially on that side, on your... on the other side. Not on your right side, on your left. Okay, so try to keep that chin in. That was not bad. So your head, you actually try to put it in uh, on that uh, on your arm. I see that you're working on it. That's awesome. 
keep working on that uh, just try to keep your head in that same position all the time right so th- so you wouldn't have to fix it and now the thing it seems like you are working with your legs to in your mind you are thinking that they're going to keep you afloat right so that's why you're working so hard from your knees hmm. right they're not the ones who uh, that the, the, the your legs are not keeping you afloat right now your core is so you don't have to work that hard to propel yourself right work from your hips make it a little bit easier because it's just unnecessarily hard right now right from your hips from your hips so this is the feeling or one two one two right you see that the, the difference yep okay let's try as you work on freestyle let's find the ease too That was awesome. When I try to move on the side, it's not smooth. Like when I'm going on the side. What's not I smooth? I kind of like have to balance it out with my legs. Well, of course your legs are balancing. Yeah, that's, so that, that's why it, it, it goes like this a little bit because it's like for a few times. Uh huh. I gotta, got, to, got to get used to like this movement. Oh, yes, your legs definitely balance you, that's for sure. That's yeah, all yeah. very nice that you noticed it. The only thing is that you don't have to make the move so rigid, it still can go from your hips nice and easy, right? Okay. Very good. Awesome. Nice head position, nice arm extension, okay. especially on the side, on your right side with your left arm. I mean, that was awesome. So let's try to go for 10 now. Okay. Let's do it. And ease with your legs. On your right side, it's awesome. On your left side, you decide to become a dolphin <laughs> and jump out of the water. Because I'm not able to take that deep breath. It's fine, but you still don't need to jump out of the water. You just need to get your mouth out of the water, right? And you just need to turn to your side. So it's in your head, right? In your head, you have to realize that turning is much easier than jumping out. True, and I feel that. Okay, so let's... I feel that, like I'm coming out and I, I don't... Because when you jump out of the water, you actually have to hold yourself afloat because you will... The gravity will still pull you under, yeah. right? Yeah. So you have to make sure that you stay on the same level to make it easy. Yep. Yeah. Let's be lazy, right? Huh? You don't need to work hard. Yeah. Be lazy. Find that easy spot. Okay. Is the water supposed to get in my mouth when I look up? It can. Okay. It will. Because the waves too a little bit. Of you know, course, we I are in think. open water. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just yep, yep. noticing. Of course, of yep. course. And it's much, uh, Akram, it's much more wind here. We are right in the middle of the lake. Well, actually, we're on the other side, almost. Right? So, we are here, right next to that boathouse. Yes, definitely. Yeah. In the pool, it would be much easier, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, let's do it.
saying something? Oh, no, I did not say anything. However, when the, the, the waves are coming from there, so it means that on, this, on your not so good side, it's going to be much more difficult to breathe in. So now, since we got this challenging situation, let's do this. I want you to breathe on that side. And on that side, I don't want you to breathe. Okay. So it means that on, on the other side, you will uh, do this. Right? So on the other side, your, your shoulder, your body will turn, but not your head. Not your head. And another thing that happens there, I want you to... Uh, keep it in mind is that um, put your uh, face in the water and don't breathe just hold your breath no don't breathe Not just breathe. hold your breath yes used to my body's used to it yeah I know I know just hold your breath no actually put your face completely in the water don't breathe out hold your breath okay I want you to do this Don't hold you. I mean, don't can breathe I, can out. I get that? No. A little bit support. Well, <laughs> so that I can put my head up down. <laughs> you got your hands. Okay. You got your hands. We're preparing you for open water. This huh? is it. Ooh. This is it. You're two hours in open water without support. Right? Well, an, an hour. Yes. Okay. Okay. How about this? Float on your stomach. Float on your stomach. Hold your breath. You're breathing out with your nose right now. I want you to just float in your stomach and hold your breath. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Good. Come up. Mm-hmm. In the pool, you still have to work on getting your head up, right? Separately from your body. Okay, how was it? You, ho you held your breath, right? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So what happens is that when you're not breathing out to the other side, if you just keep breathing out, blowing your air, it's not, you're not going, might not have enough air. So when your face stays down, when you are turning into the other side but not breathing in you are actually you have to be in this in that position where the water doesn't get in where you can hold your breath so right so when you're turning you're breathing out because the of the angle of your nose right and then when you get to here you just hold your breath mm. right so it's a whole new level <laughs> of swimming for you right so let's try to find it. So you're not breathing onto this side, although the waves are much better right now. It's got a little bit better, but still. So you're breathing onto your good side, into your right side, uh, and not into your left side. But make sure I'm that a, I'm, I'm breathing like this, right? Do you want me? Side. Do you want me to show it to you? Uh, I'm just asking you one thing. Yeah. Uh, so I'm breathing this way. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm not breathing on the other. Yes. Side. You're keeping your face down. But make sure that your hand is still pointing up to the ceiling. Do everything, but just breathe on one side. Yes. Yes. Let's try it. You probably will get confused, but it's okay. Just try it. Okay. You need to try it and see how it works. Pointing up to the sky. Okay, stop, Akram, stop. How was that? Uh, a little bit more difficult for your breath, right? 
like in terms of losing your breath, right? I think it was better than breathing in the... This was much better. Okay, very good. The only thing is that you did not turn into your side at all. Right? On that side, on the other side. Right? So when you're facing the water and your arm is above the water here, it means that you're not turning. You got to actually turn onto right, the right, side. Right. You got to feel that turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you really need to point up to the sky. Right. Right? Just try to remember that position. Yep. Yep, you're right. Let's do it. I'm breathing on both sides, actually. I know. However, your arm position was good. So if it's going to help you do one breath on both sides and then no breath at least on one of the sides. But try to now remember I told you that where that's where your brain will have to work, right? Yeah. Your head. Um, do try to remember that position, that the feeling on that side when your arm is up and your body is turned without your head. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. so let's do it. So you could do two breaths, no breath, two breaths, no breath. Yeah. It means that you will be not breathing at a different side every time. Right. Now but do... Do it five times I think it's just, it's going to find its own rhythm. Of course, yes. That's why I didn't touch you. I didn't tell you anything when you breathe onto the other side. But it looked, it yeah. looked, it looked so good though. Do you want me to show it to you? I forgot and I think I, I tried to fix myself. Sure, sure, sure. You tried to fix yourself but then you ha got your head up. Another thing, your hand is out of the water here. It means that the angle of your hand is wrong. It has to be down, right? It will also help you to float a little bit better. Okay, so here you go. Now you get to rest. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, good. So, yeah, thank you. This is gonna float just in case, right? Uh -huh. This is gonna float, right? Yeah, and this too, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway. And I just don't wanna wet it. What do we do? No, just, yeah, just don't let it drop. Does this fall? Uh, it, it does float, everything floats. Okay. You don't have to touch it. Um, okay, so I mean, since you're floating that way, I'm gonna go that way. <laughs> you, okay. you don't have to think about, it. just go. I'm, I'm going that way anyway, so it's all right. Okay, so breathing and not breathing. One more time, please. Yes. What? Do you see how I was turning, but not turning my head? Yeah. Now I forgot to breathe onto the side. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So if you want it, you can actually see that if it's going to help you a little bit. Just holding your breath and doing this. Okay. Right? You want to try that? Yep. You're doing it without breathing whatsoever, without turning whatsoever, right? I think it's your turn. You, you turn very smoothly. Well, of For course me, I turn with. Of course. And it's still, I was, when I, I'm reaching up with my hand, 
<sighs> okay, so let's try to do that and then we'll work a little bit more on the uh, a more freestyle hand position, arm position, okay? So what are we doing now? Right now we are going to try to do it without breathing. Oh, okay. And then we'll... The arms and everything. Up, right? Yeah, arms up, hands pointing up. I'm giving you the hand up because that's your that uh, checking point. You know what I mean? Uh, what is it? What is it called? Uh, they basically because of that you know where your arm is supposed to be, right? J just for now. Okay, very nice. It's just that you could not really hold your breath on the other side because you were turning your head. That's where the water will get into your nose, right? Where you water breathe. Didn't get in your really? Nose. Okay, well, that's good. But still, you, you were turning your face. Like, you, you turn, your face was almost out of the water, just a little bit on, right? You should actually keep it down. Okay. I see what you're saying. Okay, so right now, let's work a little bit on a different thing. Um, what I'd like for you to do is this. Let's see if. Okay, so let's try to keep it right without. Um, let's try it without a kickboard for now. Just where you are, we'll go be on one side for now, and then all the way. You see how here? You get to this point, yep. and then I want you to get to this point right here. So I actually, hmm. See if what's better. Okay, so you you know what? No, it's better to do it with the kickboard. Okay, so you'll be with the kickboard, and then instead of bringing your hand all the way up, you'll bring your elbow up, and your hand is just going to drag on the water, right? But your elbow will have to be in that same spot as if your arm were up, right? So up and down, up and down, up and down, up. And down. The only thing is that your head will have to be down, right? Like completely. I was looking at you just now, but uh, your head does have to be all the way down, hmm. right? Yeah. No. Uh huh. Elbow. Just elbow up. Just elbow up. Like that? Uh uh. You are dragging your hand, your fingers, like as if you're drawing a line in the water. But I'm, my Okay. Your elbow is coming up. Your hand, your fingertips are staying in the water. So. Yes, yes, and back down. Yes. Elbow up higher. Elbow up. Yes, you got it. You got it. Yes. Elbow up higher. El elbow up higher. Yes. Uh huh. Elbow up higher. So it means that you got to get your shoulder back more. Shoulder back more. Shoulder back more. Elbow up higher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, Akram. Shoulder blades together. Good. Yeah. Now, now elbow up. Okay. So remember that position where I asked you to when you, you're warming up. So stop right there. Stop right there. When you're warming up, remember how I asked you to bring your arms forward but elbow but shoulders back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you do not do that, if you keep your shoulder in front and elbow back. This is what's going to happen. Bad for your shoulder. So that's where that shoulder goes back and elbow stays just a tiny bit in the front. Yeah. Right? So that's it. Shoulder blades back, elbow up. Beautiful. Good. Stop right there. Stop. Good. So now I'd like for you to bring it all the way over. The only thing is that your elbow will have to lead the way until you throw your arm over. Okay? Stop. Stop. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Alcrum, stop right there. Elbow up, awesome. The fact that you actually brought your hand back all the way when you forgot to extend it, that was awesome to you fixed yourself. Here, you're doing this. 
I'm asking you to do this, right? Your what hand, your finger, not instead of from here, instead of this, uh -huh. you're just doing this, right? So your face is down. Okay. Right, like, your fingers just the way keep. We were doing it like not that, like don't uh, just to show. No, you right know. now you see. Before that was just the easier way to do it with the whole arm, but at any position, if your palm is back, at any position where you bend your arm, that's a correct position in terms of uh, uh, anatomical position of your shoulder and your arm, right? So right now, your shoulder and your arm stay in the same position, just that your hand is relaxed, it's just hanging, right? So you're lifting your arm into the same positions over your body, but you're relaxing your hand and you're letting your hand just drag, right? It's basically from your elbow, your hand is just dragging. Yep, that's right. Extend that, okay, not bad, not bad. You do have to extend, extend your arm all the way back right you were not going into a bent position right away extend extend oh, yes extend mm -hmm. extend extend lock that elbow really extend that elbow not bad at all and actually this one time you kind of did something like this actually that was good you threw your arm over that was good because before the, the two times before you kind of brought your elbow down instead of keeping it up right it actually supposed to you got to keep it up and over you brought it down and over right, yeah, yeah, right. so you got to keep it up all the way as far as you can right Allow your fingertips feel the water even here. Huh? Allow your fingertips feel the water even past your face because you're lifting your arm way too far, okay. way too high. Extend, good. Uh-huh. Get into this position and hold. Get into that position and hold. I'll, I'll grab your elbow. Go. Up, 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 up. Here. This is the position, right? This is the position. Elbow up. You're bringing it down. You gotta keep it up. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, the whole arm flexibility, it's actually because of this. Right. Like, because that, that's like the most difficult part for most people. It's yeah. like, it's here, right? Which is not an easy thing. Okay, that's it. Do the other side. Um, just go that way. Mm -hmm. Extend. That's it. Extend your arm. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Elbow up, though. Elbow up. Elbow up. Elbow up. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it over. Bring it over. Uh -huh. And then just bring it over, keeping your elbow up. Do you want me to get your elbow into that correct position, help you? If I don't get it, then please. Okay, let's do it. I'm just trying to figure it out. That's fine, that's fine.
get into this position right here. Lift your elbow up. Just palm down more. Yep. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you should feel that as you bring it, your arm over. Okay, Akram, no. Mm -mm. You're bringing your elbow up here, not even here. Here, and then you're doing this, right? It's that you lead with the elbow, lead with the elbow, lead with the elbow until you're, right? So your forearm is hanging. Your hand is hanging, not doing anything. Until your elbow can't go anywhere more. That's when you extend your arm. Mm -hmm. Better. Okay. Okay, so one thing that you need to do is to get that shoulder back, right? Because yeah. what you're doing is this. Yeah. Like really this here, right? It's the shoulder back, elbow forward more, right? Okay. So let's go. I'm going to hold your elbow. Yeah. Up, 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 up. Elbow, elbow, elbow. Yes. Elbow, elbow, elbow. Yes, that's it. The only thing is that your arm extends. You don't forget to extend it because you go straight into this. This is not it. Right? That's why we start with a straight arm because that you don't have to even think about bending your arm, right? You've got to extend it. Otherwise, your breathing and everything, your, your rhythm is going to be off completely. Right, right, right. <sighs> Elbow up, elbow up, elbow, yes, yes, the very last time you actually got it up, right? The only thing is that you got to get it from here and up right away, not here and back, right? Here and up. It's going to be a very uncomfortable position, but you do have to get your shoulder back. Shoulder back, shoulder back, that's it. Shoulder back, that's it, that's it, that's it, elbow, elbow, lead with the elbow, lead with the elbow, lead with the elbow, okay. Awesome job with your face down. You don't even have to do that yet, right? I'm just trying to focus on one thing right now. That's it, that's it, that's awesome. The only thing is that here, lead with the elbow more, more, more until there's no more length of your arm to lead with the elbow. That's where you throw your forearm over. Shoulder back, shoulder back. That's it, shoulder back. Yes, you got it. Uh-huh. Okay, stop, 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 stop. So the second time you actually fixed it, and then the last time you did this pretty awesome, and that's when you did this, right? Your elbow leads up and forward. You don't bring it back or down, right? Okay. Right now, breathe, because this way you don't have to think about breathing, I mean, not ha oh, having your breath. This way you can... Do as many, you know, strokes as you can. Ex oh, stop, stop, stop. Y you fixed yourself on that second one, but then you did not extend your arm, and that's when you did not have time to breathe. You breathe when you extend that arm. Right. Okay. Extending your arm equals breathing. All right. So let's do it. Yes. In terms of elbow position, you fixed it, you felt it. Awesome. 
the after the second time so that's when you fix the elbow position you did not extend your arm so you're, you're doing either elbow or extension right, right so right. do both please remember extension will help uh, breathing will help you with extension right now because right. remember extension means breathing That's it. Elbow up. Yes. Turn, 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 turn. All the way. Turn all the way, right? You almost forgot to turn. Yeah. Right? Turn all the way. Okay, how did it feel in terms of the elbow? I think it's extension. It's not good. I think I'm, I'm still doing this and this. I'm okay, right. so uh, the thing is that your hand should be relaxed. You were doing this. Ugh, I'm working. <clears throat> no, the hand is relaxed. You just hear your forearm and your hand are relaxed, and you're just throwing them over, right? You're just working too hard, mm. right? You're, you're doing this. Relax it. In elbow position is actually, I think, even better than on the other side, which is good. Do you feel like trying to do this alternating? Yeah. And right now, do breathe on both sides, okay. right? Because breathing, arm extension, right? That works together for you right now. Yeah, we have half an hour left. <laughs> Look at that boathouse. Extend, that's it. That's it. Okay, 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 okay. So, this position, this one, is better on with your right arm. With your left arm on your better side for breathing, you're not even getting into this position. Right? Let's just extend it because that's what it, we learned. I earlier, know. Right? But that's fine. Remember, right? Like I can't give you everything at the same time. We have to do little by little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we worked also on your balancing because I don't know if you unnoticed it or not, but without balancing, you wouldn't be able to work on all of that here, right? Okay. So now let's start going, turning the other way. And um, right now, just try to find it. Get that elbow up, extend your arm, do breathe on one side. If you do feel like not breathing on one side, do try two. So now you have to find it. I'm gonna try not to bother you much. Okay. It's your time. I'm gonna go back to the hand movement we did before. Okay. Isn't good for now. Okay, that's fine. Yes. So you see, because remember how you said like people not doing the correct thing? You see that we need more for real freestyle. Right. This is going to be fine because we're working uh, now. We can just work on your breathing rhythm, on balancing, not breathing onto one side. Alrighty? Yep. So good. Okay, so the only thing is that you do need to do is to get, get that palm back. So now you know why it is that important, right? And shoulder also back. 
Okay, so are you going to breathe on both sides or breathe only on to one side? I'll try to find it. I don't know. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Let's do it. Okay, only once you brought your palm back and your arm went into this, you know, up uh, this direction of the sky. All the rest of the time you forget. So it means that, so when your arm is that way, it means that two, two things. Either you are not turning enough or your breathing is off right you're turning down a little too soon okay okay yeah so palm back because uh, and plus you you're trying to do this thing and you're kind of doing this with your arm yeah. which is also incorrect so just choose if you chose to bring your straight arm over work on your palm right now okay. and another thing that's what i forgot this hand that's in the water i don't see the fingers up i should not see the fingers up they should be down. This is the position. Fingers down. I can see your fingers. I, I should not see your fingers. If they're out, it means that this is the position here. Fall down. They should be right under the surface. What happened there? Tell me. No, I didn't move uh, all the way up. Mm-hmm. How did it feel? I think I did a couple of times good, other times it wasn't. Well, you did, I think you did all, all together three or four times, so that was actually really nice. Lie down in your side position, and I'm going to show you where your hand is supposed to be, right? This the front one. Feel that? Yeah. That? Yes. Yes. Was nice. Talk to me. You did not breathe in. Your face was down. Your arm went all the way up. How did it feel? Good. Good. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so let's try to find it again and keep it going.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I need to associate my breathing with my arm, I think. It was a little late to breathe. Okay, well, you did a few things with wrong timing a little bit. So this one time you turn your head too late, turned it down. Right? Sometimes you actually turn down too soon and that changes your, the position of your arm over the water. Um, yeah, so that's it. <clears throat> and remember, here when you're not breathing, just hold your breath. When you're not, that side you're not breathing out, don't blow the air out. When your face is down, just hold your breath. Okay. And of course, you should have been working and you're breathing and holding your breath and taking deep breaths in, right? So that's where, when you actually breathe in, you take a really deep breath in. That was awesome. How did it feel? Good. I think I'm getting that rhythm. Yeah. So this one time you did turn your face too high up on the side where you did not breathe. So you know the water got into your nose or not. Okay. But the very last time when you did not breathe, that was really nice. You kept your face down. Really good. You, you do turn your, your body onto your side. It's really good. Your, your arm is like going straight up. Okay, good. That's really awesome. Okay. Am I doing anything on the right side when I look on the when I don't breathe? What do you mean? Am I doing anything wrong when I? So what I am doing right now? Come, come a little closer. I want to hear you. Yes. So, uh, am I supposed to like look all the way left or just down is fine? Down, because remember when you look to the left, the water will get into your nose. We so want just, to hold your breath, so, so face down. Go, this and breathe and this no or I have to do yes go, you're turning because if you do not turn shoulder flexibility will allow you to do this that's very difficult for your shoulder you need to get it all the way up no no, no. I, I I know I'm not talking about this body I'm talking about my neck no you, yes your neck is always no your face let's put it this my way face. your face is down on the side when you're not breathing yes and then and then you're yes but the rest of the body. rest of your body turning yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, Akram, don't try to go fast. What was, did you feel it was a little bit more difficult now or no? No, it was good. Yeah, but you're, 
turning your body a little bit too fast so your arm stays here above the water you, you, you bring it up first but then you turn and you do this right you're bringing your arm forward right above the water remember this position right so that's why your arm goes all the way around right because this here this here this is it okay. so bring it all the way over right. over your head you got to cover your head with your arm Okay, so. I think it's just, I need to breathe. That's it. I need to uh, not stay too long. Like, I need to time it. Mm, yeah, that's fine. But as you get tired, you will need more breaths, yes. obviously. Yes. So it means that this is how you work on your endurance. Yes. You have to push yourself. But yes. do not do it because by uh, brushing through the points, the, the positions. Yeah, yeah. Right now, that's what you're doing. You're not holding your positions. Take a deep breath in and go, just push yourself through the difficult. I mean, that's the only way to do it. Right. That's how you work with your endurance. Right, it's in swimming especially, you actually get, you lose your breath and you get suffocated a little bit. <laughs> And it hurts. <laughs> crazy, like crazy. So right now when you're going, you know, pushing yourself, you're actually improving your lung capacity. Okay, how did it feel? Be be besides you losing you your breath. Your rhythm, that's it. No, you actually that was really awesome. The only place where you don't have to hold that long is right here on your stomach. You touch your hand. It's it's actually it's called uh, you know the it's actually a swimming exercise that's called ca catch up. Okay. Right, but you just catch up and you go. You're like going for four uh, for four, uh, four kicks here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch your hand and go. Okay. Yeah. So you're not brushing through this position, no. Through this in the front, yes. Okay. okay let's go for the cars. <laughs> huh? Let's go for the cars. Uh, this is. <sighs> Yeah, I know. So the thing is that because of your arm position, because it's in the front, you're going every time you turn side, switch sides, you're going in zigzags. But that's if you decide to go beyond, right? Uh, so right now, that's why we're not really worrying about it. Worried about it. So let's just go this way a little bit. Head down, head down. Uh-huh, how did it feel? Huh? No, I didn't. How did it feel? It was better. Much better, yes. Don't brush through your side, uh, the, through that extension position and on your side, get to your side, bring your arm all the way up and over, over your head, right? Okay. And then you're still turning here okay. instead of showing me this. You gotta, you gotta cover your head with your arm. And let's go that way for that um, white house. <sighs> A 
Okay. How did that feel? Not able to take the full breath. That's fine. Is that. Well, this is something that you'll have to work yeah, on, yeah, right? It's just um, muscle work and uh, extend. Timing. Uh, well, timing too, but it's you actually staying on the side well long enough to take a breath, right? Usually, yeah. it's, it, usually it's like this, <gasps> and that's it, right? You are there, like <gasps> yeah. right now, which is fine for now, right? So, um, on the side where you're not breathing, you're still turning onto the stomach instead of, you know, bringing your arm too close to the water instead of up to the sky and covering your head. You start. You gotta work on Which that. Side, right side or left side? Uh, with your ar right arm. You're on your left side, working with your right arm. Yeah, right arm is not working right. You're saying. My yes, right, right arm is not working right. Your 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 whole body basically. You're turning your body. It's not even your arm. You're turning your body too soon. Yeah, yeah. You're not turning your body uh, to the side enough. Okay. Gotta turn it to your side more. <clears throat> head down. Head down. Get yourself in the correct position. Fingers down. That was better. Mm -hmm. See, what, where we're going right now is more of, you know, like an athletic swimming, and that requires much more effort and much more everything, endurance and everything. It's a totally different ball game. Before it was relaxation and just, you know, following the flow. Now it's actual work. Good, very good. Did you feel it in the last stroke? Your arm, it was not that comfortable? <coughs> yeah. Right? That's where you, you, turn, you didn't turn your body enough, right? Okay, I see what you're saying. Even though, you see, even you're like working, we're working on your lung capacity. That's the most difficult part. But body position should be easy. Right. Right? Now your muscles are working to propel you and everything. But body position, that's why we worked so hard on balancing and an easy positioning, right? Yeah. So let's find that or not lose that. That was better. Just go toward me, please, more. Akram, 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 toward me. A little bit toward me. By the way, when you rest, do five bobs and keep going. Five bobs, five bobs. Gotta catch your breath, five bobs. Gotta learn to catch your breath, five bobs. Deep breath. Deep breath. <gasps> Expand your chest. 
That's it. Remember, this is your breathing exercise. That's where you practice breathing for swimming. That's why if you need to breathe more and with more, you know, get more air in, that's where you learn it, right, and practice it. So that's why it's not just like, you know, catching breath. It's really grabbing it. And why was it difficult? Because he did not turn onto your side, right? Yeah. And you could see, and this is a good, good experience because you could see the difference, the drastic difference when your body is in the correct position and when it's not in, it, when it's in, in, in an incorrect position, right? Okay, so now let's try to go for six strokes in a row. Push yourself now. Eight, not bad. How did it feel? I didn't turn on the right side, my body. You last felt night, it, night. yes, very nice. So I don't even have to I tell mean, you. I up, yes, yeah, let's do it. Six. Go a little bit toward me because we don't want to hit those rocks. What? Go toward me a little bit more because we don't want to hit those rocks. Okay. Toward me this way. Keep turning that body. Keep taking that bre deep breath. Yep. Find easy work with your legs. So from your hips and get that core going. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, nice. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Which stroke? I know my arm isn't going up on the right. On your left, what do you mean with your right arm? Right, hand. right arm, yeah. So the third the one, turning. the very... Now when I turn it, it, it's better. Yeah, so you noticed that the two strokes were not that good. The last one was awesome. Yeah. Good. So whenever you're swimming, you can always find try to find that feeling that comfortable feeling and that's where you know because as you get tired even as you practice this as you get tired you tend to break it right uh, your your skill and going back to comfort being comfortable is your you know like checking point <coughs> if it's uncomfortable something's wrong get back to that comfortable spot <coughs> let's go for that blue boat a kayak let's do let's do uh, let's do 10 in the row so now you have to turn Mm-hmm. Four. Can you tell me something? Yes, sir. When I'm coming back. Uh, let me come a little closer. So when I try to breathe, 
Uh -huh. I don't know if it's the waves, a little bit of waves or something. The water is getting in my mouth or in my nose. Okay. When I try to like, when I do the second breath. Okay. First of all, it's only one breath. I mean, second breath means when I start, that's one breath. Second breath means when I'm like one that one with one. Okay, step, so you're turning him. Okay, yeah. So when the thing is that when you're swimming in open water or in a full pool, it's a little different. You do have to turn a little bit more. So my neck goes even more up. Your body goes a little bit more up, right? Right, so you gotta get your face a little bit, mouth a little bit higher up, but then also, and you know, just to get your nose out of the water. But also, it's fine when the water gets in, but you, but you still that that breath is still very deep. It has to be very. Uh, that that's why it has to be very short, right? It's a quick one. It's a uh, it's a quick one. It's like this. <gasps> no, what you do is this. You do, you do not let the air go past here. I'm talking about diaphragm lowering and the, you know, your back expanding and your chest expanding. So it's, but really fast. So. Really fast. No, you, you, you still, you're keeping it here. Expand, expand those lungs. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm yes so when you're in open water when when you're in open water you kind of you do have to time your your stroke but you also have to watch out for those waves yeah. now um it, if you were doing let's say a triathlon or just a regular open water swim um because the waves are coming from here you actually would not breathe in onto that side you would breathe in onto this yeah, side right sense. yeah so i mean now this is your comfortable side so let's keep it there just turn a little bit more and take a deep a breath a little bit deeper so let's go it's already two hours and three minutes let's let's keep it going Eight. Okay, very nice. We're very close. Eight. How was it? Good. Okay, let's go for that boat and we'll do the, the corner. Try, uh, your goal is 10 for today. Let's do it. Okay, so if it's uncomfortable on one side, it means that next stroke you know what to fix, right? And you don't have to stop, just the next stroke make better. That's it. And once again, you are learning, nobody's catching it this way, right, this fast. You're doing a great job. You're doing it in open water. <laughs> this is like a little bit crazy. Right? This is it, open water makes it everything so much more difficult, right? So don't be frustrated. Just something doesn't work out. Next time you know what to fix, just fix it. That's it. Right? So let's try to go for 10. Seven. Uh huh. If you need to do five bobs, do five bobs. Get that deep breath in. Practice your deep breath in. Practice the deep. <gasps> D. 
That's what it means, catching your breath, right? Actually getting it. Breathing. Okay. I don't know breath, but that's fine. Okay. All right. So you see, as you can see, a two-hour session is a little bit different because we don't have to start from the beginning, Better. right? Yeah. So you were able to advance so much more, and we went far yeah. today. What are you feeling about today? Good. Feels good. It is. have to practice I guess on my own to uh, get comfortable with uh, comfortable with water swimming I think I got a hold of a little bit of how to switch sides I think I need to work on my breathing a little bit of my yeah I can tell like when my shape's not right when I'm not turning good I can tell yeah, yeah. so practice that also you can start practicing of course in the pool on uh, to, uh, not breathing on the other side yeah of course um, and that's it just uh, work on expanding your lungs and getting that deep breath in um, and uh, work on your endurance alrighty well that was a last session so that was the last session <laughs> you did an awesome job